first thing that we have to do is block out the noise. Uh, last year we came here with a lot of negativity about the program. Now there's a lot of positive things going on in the program. Uh, when we get to camp, we got to forget all that. We got to get back to the fundamentals. In the book, Great Expectations, Charles Dickens wrote, take nothing on its looks, take everything on evidence, there's no better rule. How handy that quote is this fall as LSU balances its newfound expectations 12 months after having to deflect heat from a hot seat coach seemingly on a short leaf. Now, part of these new great expectations are because of second year quarterback Joe Burrow. Remember, at last year's media day, Coach O wasn't even sure who the quarterback was going to be. Burrow won the starting job, then threw for nearly 2,000 yards, uh, 3,000 yards, 16 touchdowns, and threw just five interceptions. Orgeron has stressed that the addition of RPOs and having Burrow on the run more this year, O saying with a healthy Miles Brennan behind him, the team can take more chances. I, I do believe that Joe, if we let him, would run the run, run into a brick wall, uh, no matter what it took. He's that tough as a he has a linebacker mentality. We are going to use him on the quarterback runs, quarterback draws, but we're going to be careful how many times we run him a game. But it does add another element to our offense. LSU is always going to be physical. We want to be 50-50 and run the football. You know, this kind of offense, this style of offense, is what I've been doing since I was 14 and 15. Um, no huddle, get the ball out fast. Um, so that's kind of what I was comfortable with, and I had to get comfortable doing the other style of offense last year when I first got here. So now I'm more comfortable with both things, and I think we're doing a very good job of implementing both of them in this offense. Sunbelt Media Day is one week away. Seth Lewis will be at the Superdome as the Cajuns begin their second fall under Billy Napier. Last year, Louisiana won the Sunbelt West Division and played in the conference 